Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandy and this is my mom, Florence, and she's gonna be with me today. We're participating in the quarantine cooking channel and I am here at her home in her kitchen today and we are going to be um, preparing, what are we making? Zucchini bread. Zucchini bread today and this is her own recipe. This challenge is being hosted by Denise Jordan, This and That with Denise Jordan, and Kenya over at Kenya's Decor Corner and the Sister Circle. So I welcome you. Uh, stick around so that you can see us make some delicious, delicious zucchini bread. A very special thanks to Denise and Kenya for hosting this channel. And let's get started. You ready? Yes. Okay. So these are the nuts that are going into a food processor. And this is a older model food processor. You can tell. Let me see if I can adjust that to see how this thing works. How long have you had that? It was a gift from you and Michelle won. I don't know. Okay, so I don't know either. I don't remember, but this is the food Wait. processor. That's good. That's good. So what's the consistency? That's just one cup of nuts? Well, that, uh, that might be more than one. I just put it all I had. <laughs> so she didn't measure them, but about a cup, cup and a half of, of uh, chopped nuts. She also has a cup of raisins here. And how many zucchinis is this? Two cups. Two cups of zucchini. And the zucchini was done in the food processor as well. So that's what's here. Then a cup of the raisins and then the nuts. And then she also said a cup of oil. What type of oil? Like vegetable canola, whatever you have. Vegetable oil or canola oil. So now she is measuring the nuts. She's going to use a cup. So it's a pretty easy recipe. A cup of zucchini, a cup of raisins, a cup of nuts, and a cup of oil. What else? Get, okay. Three cups of flour. Three cups of flour. And a teaspoon of vanilla. I mean, teaspoon. Yeah, a teaspoon of Not vanilla. A teaspoon of soda and a teaspoon of soda, bacon soda. Bacon soda. And did you say vanilla? Yeah. And a, and I just a little cinnamon. I don't a measure. little cinnamon. I don't measure cinnamon. She doesn't measure cinnamon. That's the one thing about let me get into the frame here. One thing about recipes with our seniors, they don't always have a recipe. It's all up here. So you kind of have to grab it as you go along and they think of things that need to go in there as they go along. So we just roll with it. But it turns out yummy. <laughs> So you're going to get what out of there now? Bacon powder. Bacon powder, bacon, bacon soda, soda, and salt. And salt. Okay. All this goes into the flour. Okay, get my zucchini bread. I already made some banana nut bread. All of those are banana nuts. So she's been baking. I call myself going to get here early this morning to do this whole process. And I get here and the banana nut bread is already in the oven cooking. So you got to get up early to catch Miss Florence before she gets moving. And I was here at 9. What time did I get here? About 10? Three cups of flour, and she's commenting that this flour came from Aldi. Never used it before, so should be all good. It's all purpose flour. So you're putting three cups in the sifter. So that's going to be how much uh, baking soda? One teaspoon of baking soda in with the flour that's going to be sifted together. And then how much of the bacon powder? Oh, how much salt? One. One teaspoon of salt. One. One teaspoon of baking powder. And that's going to be sifted together. So now one cup of canola oil. And that's just going right in the bowl. How much brown sugar? 
three fourths cup. Three fourths cup of brown sugar. And, a, and about a, a, a half a cup of uh, white sugar. A half a cup of white sugar. Got a three fourths cup of brown sugar. Three fourths cup of brown sugar. How much white sugar? Half a cup of, Half a cup of white sugar and just a dash of what is this? Cinnamon. Yeah. Brown cinnamon. Get two and now. Time to fold the eggs in. There's three eggs in there. So what are you waiting for? We're going to beat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, so one egg at a time. That's important. Don't rush it. Now a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring or two. Two teaspoons. Huh? Three cups. Three cups of flour. Is that what you said before? Yeah, three cups. Okay. Now it's time for the zucchini to go in and everything is going in slowly as it's beating. So the zucchini had already been chopped up in the food processor and now it's being measured in and poured into the mixture. Then will come the nuts and the raisins. Okay, so everything is mixed in now. We've got the zucchini, the oil, the flour, sugar, all of the ingredients are all in here and it is ready now to go into the pan. <laughs> Ma just called me the paparazzi because I'm filming everything, but she's basically putting some, um, what's that, cooking spray in the pan so that it doesn't stick. For baking. For baking, so it's a special kind. I'll show you the can. This is the can, it is cooking spray and it's made with flour. Okay, after you put it in, you check it after a half hour, and, and how do you tell if it's ready or what, what happens at that point? You press on it with your finger, and if it comes back up. So you bake it at 350 for about 30, 40 minutes. Check it after 30 minutes. Yeah. But they're in there now, starting now. What would y'all make it Okay, a special thanks to Denise from This and That with Denise Jordan and Kenya from Kenya's Decor Corner and the Sister Circle. Please be sure to stop by uh, each of their channels as well as the playlist, which will be linked in the description box below. And uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Hit that notification bell so that you're uploaded each and every time I upload a video. We will be uploading a video again on next Wednesday with a new recipe. So please be sure to stop back by.